Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. on guys it's zerks coming at you today with another madden ultimate team video and today we have a gameplay we have sean taylor on the team we also have franco harris who i am gonna be running at running back should be pretty fun to use him and we also scooped up isaiah simmons so we got three players now i do want to give a shout out to eagles pro for being a part of the noti gang if you guys have a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel notification bell on and comment down below noti gang and if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy you can use code zerk to match your first deposit up to 100 dollars. we do have monday night football today and of course a ton of other football games coming up they also have nba nhl mlb esports stuff like a ton of stuff so check it out that link will be the top of the comment section but you guys can see we have sean taylor on the team he's got 98 speed 95 yourself six foot two he's got 83 man coverage 96 zone 96 hit power he should be a monster uh, 96 change direction and 91 block shed now i will let you guys know i'm not going to use her on him i'm going to kind of you know let him roam around and then we have universal coverage and acrobat on him and of course only washington team camp then we got franco harris which like i said i am running him at running back he actually does have the halfback secondary chemistry and i gotta say as a running back this card's really good like he's got 94 speed 93 excel he's also 230 pounds 89 strength and then like he's got 93 carrying 81 catch uh he's got 93 run block 94 lead block and 91 impact block which obviously doesn't matter for this gameplay but still really cool to see he's also got like i said 95 truck 94 stiff arm 91 juke move he's going to be really really good at 95 break tackle this is legitimately a running back that you could use right now as i said does have halfback secondary position steelers and seahawks i'm running freight train on him and the recuperation in tier two and in tier three i'm running Running bulldozer you might say why not go ahead and use bruiser well because it's a fullback and he's utility bruiser is three ap for more powerful truck and sif arms whereas bulldozer is just more powerful trucks and it's one so one to three ap i feel like it's definitely more you know useful to just use one ap and get the trucking we have isaiah simmons which this card is absolutely disgusting of course i do have the strategy item on him to kind of boost up all of his stats so yeah that's how he looks this ridiculous but he's got 99 speed 97 excel 99 zone man uh pursuit hit power this card's crazy 99 jumping 97 change of direction six foot four and he's got 82 block shit himself and in terms of abilities just running acrobat on him this card is crazy let's get into it looking to take your game of madden 22 to another level make sure to check out hotroute.tips get access to ebooks tips and schemes from madden pros use code zerk for 10 percent off let's dominate weekend league so of course i will be usering on isaiah simmons for this gameplay you guys see i do also have quarterback derrick henry which i have a gameplay up on the channel with qb henry if you guys want to check that out obviously not going to really use him much today all right so franco harris is about to get a lot of touches in this game as tried to like squeeze through there i will say my opponent's team in the formation he's running everything like that i can kind of tell he must be pretty good at stopping the run so i'm hoping we can you know really get the run game going here maybe we'll have to mix it up pass a little bit which he definitely can catch the ball as i'm gonna try to beat him to the edge here we do try to truck over him franco and we got popped but great try this franco harris is definitely nothing to sleep on guys like i said i mean he's got great trucking great speed i have the abilities on him that you want as well as i'm just gonna try to take off here with derrick henry in the open field you know like I said, not a Derrick Henry gameplay, but he's good. Found the crease right there and just took off with Derrick Henry. Now let's go right back to Franco Harris once again with another run as Franco's breaking loose. Oh, we got to squeeze in there, Franco. I just squeeze right in there. Now, obviously, Franco Harris is not necessarily the most agile twitchy type of running back when it comes to like change of directions everything like that but he's a bruiser and on third and one you know this is a franco harris gameplay so obviously you guys want to see franco as he is definitely about to run commit huh he is so about to run commit. i'm still gonna run it third and one and he didn't run commit and we kind of just bounced around a little bit weird there i was gonna be able to pick it up so we kind of got bounced around a little bit there and on fourth and inches i don't even care if he knows it's gonna be a run he didn't want to commit last play and that was a very obvious run play there and here we finally do pick it up i was trying to go to the outside but I already tried okay second and 12 coming up this time we're gonna run a stretch to the outside and see if we can beat him to the edge actually cut it back franco breaking a tackle let's go this is really just that downhill type of running back as we do have john U. smith open here and we got first but really just a downhill running 
passing guy, right? You really just want to run straight with him, not really try to change direction too much because that's not really his game as, oh, if we could have trucked him, man, we were gone. We have definitely taken a lot of time off the clock here. Now, I will let you guys know, I'm looking to go to Franco out of the backfield if he is going to be open here, which he is going to be open, and I'm going to try to truck somebody again. Let's go. And now on third and one, I have not ran a read option yet, and I'm just going to hand it off to Franco Harris and absolutely destroy whoever that was. Whoever that safety was, he just got a mouthful of Franco Harris. Two and a half minutes left here, though, in the first half, and we've had the ball for the entire first half here, just chipping away, which is absolutely beautiful. That is exactly what I wanted to do, you know, just get the ball down the field with Franco. Obviously, I think I would have, you know, loved to have a big run as we keep, like, bouncing off you, but I can't get open. We just broke off of, like, two dudes there, and I was trying to get to the right and then just, like, got stuck. And 30 inches, I am shocked he didn't run commit, and Franco's gonna fall into the end zone. So that was a perfect drive right there as i just realized we're using the titans uniform still i completely forgot to change the uniforms for this gameplay it is what it is but a really really nice drive there from franco harris on the very first drive which really i mean franco kind of just reminds me of a derrick henry really i mean he's a big running back he's a very very big running back as he tried to go deep and micah parsons is did I get in? Okay, I tried to celebrate. That didn't work out. I was trying to hold X there, so I would, like, dive into the end zone, but I accidentally only tapped it, and I thought we were going to get out to one, which would have been okay because we would have just pounded in there with Franco, but Micah Parsons pick six. Defense player of the year. So a beautiful play right there, but as I was saying, Franco Harris reminds me a lot of, like, a Derrick Henry uh, type. Oh, wow. That was a beautiful route. I don't think I have seen that play as Revis. That's going to be a complete. That was a wild, wild route right there. I don't remember the last time I saw someone actually throw that route right there, but I'm shocked that was incomplete and a beautiful pass as well. Just incomplete for him. But yeah, Derrick Henry pretty much, you know, big downfield type of guy can you actually catch the ball though as he's about to throw that corner out revis get over there i'm gonna need the d line to step it up a little bit you know they did cause a pick six which is nice but i need to see them make another play as he actually did run the ball there. the thing about me being up 14 nothing is there's only 43 seconds left here right so with only 40 seconds left he's gonna try to get into the end zone and then he gets the ball to start the second half well let's say he gets the ball to start the second half and then he scores and he also scores here well, I'm still going to have time as Sean. Why didn't you carry that up the field, Sean? I'm really surprised that Sean Taylor didn't carry that up the field and have the speed to catch up there, especially since I did shade up. So he should have carried that up the field as CD Lamb. Great catch. That was a beautiful throw right there and a beautiful catch because now we're in field goal range and this is huge. If we can just get three points here, so I'm going to run to the outside with Franco. We'll call another timeout here. As long as I just get a field goal out of this, this would be so, so big. So I'm going to try to go to the end zone, but if I have to, I'll just throw the ball away as, oh, you know what? No, we're not going to throw it away. We got one timeout left. Just want to get a little bit closer. So I trucked over somebody there with Derrick Henry. Maybe I should have just slid down, but you know what? It's Derrick Henry. I want to try to truck him. So we got in the field goal range, called a timeout, and now we're going to be up by 10. He gets the ball. All right, so now we're up by 10 to start off this first half here. And if he wants to start by running the ball, I will let him run the ball. Now on this play, though, I am going to blitz Ted Hendricks right up the middle because I think he's probably going to try to go deep on me. And if he does, I'm going to watch out for that crossing route that he loves to throw where this just turns up the field here. So I'm going to be all over that. And again, you know, I will give him that underneath. Sean, can we get the tackle? I will gladly take this as now he's at the 24. There's just no way that he runs it here, right? Like he he definitely is not going to, yeah, he's not going to run the ball. And there is the sack. So the pressure came through right there. Now, not only that pressure get there, right? But I'm also going to add an additional person to the blitz here so i'm going to also add in ted Hendricks, and if he wants to go underneath i will give him the flats you know we're down to only a minute and 15 seconds left here in the third as i know he's about to throw that rollout corner revis come on and now my opponent is actually coming out here and onside kicking he better not get this please oh do we get it okay Jeez. Actually scared me there because if you guys take a look back, I mean, it literally bounced off my guy. So if he would have caught that, that would have been so bad. But I think that he actually just ran commit right there. Of course, with him uh, doing the onside kick, number one, he could have got it. Number two, it does shorten the field for us. So, I mean, we're pretty much guaranteed to at least get a field goal. No, just get through there. We are pretty much guaranteed to at least get three points out of this, which if I do that and I take some more time off the clock, that's still going to be pretty good for me as I'm going to try to find somebody open. 
in the tight end, Vernon Davis. Perfect. So now we're in the fourth quarter, and at the bare minimum, I'm going to, you know, take this down to pretty much the two-minute warning here is Franco Harris now picking up another first down. Let's go. 15-yard gain. So this is going just beautifully here. Only had to throw the ball six times, and also Franco's having a pretty solid game. 18 carries, 69 yards. Of course, you know, he can potentially break one the distance. It's just a matter of really getting through the D-line. Like I said, my opponent, he's really, really trying to play uh, for the run here as we get some pretty solid blocks couple yards and on third and goal at the nine yard line i might look to throw for a td here or i might just look to throw to oh i just saw that we had the tight end home for a td on fourth and goal guys we are gonna go for it here because like i said i am pretty sure that i just saw vernon davis open for a td so i'm feeling really confident when i snap this ball vernon davis is who we're gonna be looking to throw to and there he is to the outside a perfect throw from Derrick Henry. That was a beautiful throw right there. I saw it in the last play in just a ballsy, ballsy decision, but hey, it worked out. Thrown probably would have taken his three points and then, you know, let his opponent score TD, but me, no, we, we don't do that. We go for it on fourth down. We score the game winning TD. And now with only a minute and 55 seconds left, surely he's just looking to go deep as we get some pressure and Micah Parsons with his second pick six. And with that being said, guys, that is going to be the end of the game. Micah Parsons, two pick sixes. So that was definitely quite the gameplay. Franco Harris had a really, really good game. Oh, if we take a look here head to head, 19 attempts, 71 yards, one TD, four broken tackles. Without a doubt, guys, I mean, Franco will break a lot of tackles, right? He's definitely a straight up, I mean, if you're one fullback dive, whatever, this guy you want, he can catch the ball, he can really block as well. So I like the Franco card, obviously Isaiah Simmons, unfortunately so, didn't get targeted. You know, we didn't really have a chance to make a play with him, but with those stats, you know he's a monster. And then also with Sean Taylor, the only thing I will say about Sean is, you know, he didn't carry that route up the field and didn't have the speed to catch up. So that was a little bit unfortunate there, but it's Sean Taylor, you know he's gonna play good as well. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop the like the video and of course hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.